Hi, I'm Jude from HeadFi.org. At the last Cam Jam at Rocky Mountain Audio Fest, I had a chance to talk to Ken Ball from ALO Audio. Now, if you've ever seen an ALO Audio exhibit, you know they usually exhibit a lot of stuff, and this time was no exception. We had a chance to talk to Ken about a lot of the things that they did exhibit, including this. This is the ALO Audio Pan Am. It's a USB DAC and a tube solid state headphone amp combo all in this one little compact package. Very cool device. And we had a chance to talk to him about this and several other things. We also had a chance to talk to Alex Rawson from Odyssey. At Can Jam at RMAF, they were giving us a sneak preview of an Odyssey closed headphone. I have no idea when this headphone's coming out, but I can't wait for it. See what Alex had to say about this Odyssey closed headphone preview. And again, uh, what Ken Ball had to say about several of the products brought by ALO Audio. Hi, we're at the ALO Audio exhibit over at Can Jam at Rocky Mountain Audio Fest 2012. I'm with Ken Ball uh, of ALO Audio, and he's going to tell us what they're showing here at the meet. And there's a lot of new stuff. Yep, sure. We got a lineup here of some portable amplifiers. We have the uh, the National here, which is a solid state, little solid state amp, high low gain, pretty straightforward. And then we have what's the price point? This is 299. 299. And this is the Continental. It's got a little um, 611 tube in here. Also high low gain, battery powered of course. Then we have our um, our. Um, what was, I'm, I'm sorry. What was the price of the Continental? Version two. This is a um, uh, 549 dollars for this guy, and this one's 649. It's our RX Mark III. It's uh, balanced in, balanced out, high medium low gain. It's got a um, uh, bass adjust feature that's uh, kind of unique there. Uh, uh, single ended out as well. High low, high low gain, high low medium gain, and then we have um, a pan, the Pan Am here, which is a new item for us. <clears throat> this has a um, uh, 2496 DAC, so you can plug it into your computer, use the DAC. It's got two analog inputs. Okay, it's got six AK5 tubes. Uh, this unit right here is uh, 599. Okay. Okay, uh, quarter inch jack, mini jack, high low gain. All right. So just so I'm clear, this is in this unit is the DAC and the amp. Correct, the Pan Am. Correct. Okay. Now it has two accessory items that you, it comes with a wall wart, okay? Okay. But you can buy a uh, a battery pack for $199 extra, and it uh, piggybacks on top, so you get a clean power supply, right? Nice clean power supply. For that, it runs 10 hours on one charge. Or if you don't want the battery pack, you can go with the uh, the um, the uh, the power the uh, bigger power supply and not use the wall wart a little bit more powerful sound a little cleaner or you can do all three if you want if you're so inclined okay so it comes with uh, you can get a little bag for it take it take it around with you so the the Pan Am which you can run with its stock wall wart is 599 That's that right. has the DAC and the amp right. and uh, then you have the battery supplies 199 199 the uh, and the power supply for plugging in the optional power supplies how much 149 all right awesome. Uh, I want to talk about this big one over here, yep. and I haven't heard it yet, yep. but I guess you're going to force me to listen to it right now, which, which I don't think you'll have. You're not going to force me. I'm gonna, uh, I've been dying to hear it. So tell me about yep. this one. This is called the Studio 6. That's right. This is our flagship uh, desktop tube amplifier for us. Uh, it is um, unique in that it will drive uh, four headphones simultaneously uh, and drive it just as well as if it was just one. So it's like a, a you know headphone party. It's great for a being headphones if you're really into headphones. If you're you know if you're a reviewer, it'd be a great tool to have as well. Uh, but it's got um, a number of tubes. So if you're into tube rolling, this is a kind of a dream for tube rolling. You've got a uh, six SN7, two six V6s, uh, OB2 gas regulators, two of those. And uh, over here is a 5AR4 um, rectifier tube there. Uh, in the back, we have a, a D-sub connector. And we're, what we're doing is we're making a, a accessory uh, photo stage that will plug right into it, pull the power right off. We'll, that'll have three tubes. And uh, we, don't, we don't have that quite finished yet, but this is, is going to be a, we're very proud to bring this item to the headphone aficionados of the world. When is it available? Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, um, Three to four months from now, we'll have them uh, for sale, and we don't have the price set, but it'll be uh, the upper four thousand dollar range. Okay, so upper four thousand dollar range. Uh, three inputs. Three inputs. Yep. Okay. Three inputs. 
Fantastic. This is Ken Ball at ALO Audio. Uh, thanks for showing me all this. I'm going to sit down right now and listen to the Studio 6. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot. We're with Alex Rawson at Odyssey. <laughs> I apologize, I didn't catch you till breakdown time, man. But uh, this is when I'm finding the time to interview him. But anyways, everybody obviously was interested in the closed Odyssey prototype. I heard it that night in that top secret cloak and dagger meeting. I guess it was top secret. It was top secret. It sounded awesome, and I'm hoping that it does become a product. I think it hopefully will by, what, mid next year is what you're looking at? I think it's more along the lines of when we're ready, when we think it's perfect. <laughs> okay, but no earlier uh, than mid next year? Probably not mid. Can you, can you say a few things about the product, I mean, and, and how you tuned it? It's really the, it's LCD2 or LCD3. Um, we're probably going to modify the driver, so it won't be the same driver, so it's not a retrofit, but it's a beginning stage for us to actually try and control the resonance in the chamber. And we still think we're far off, but we were excited, so we wanted to show some people. Yeah, that was funny. as a discussion about whether or not to show it late at night when we were talking about it, but I will. Come. Yeah, but it sounded fantastic. So if, if you're going to be modifying it even more to get better sound out of it, I think you're off to a remarkable start. That's what we're trying to do. And I think a lot of people are going to want the closed Odyssey. I think so. It, it adds a lot of progression in our line. I mean, it, we need to do it, and it's been something we've been wanting to do since we started. So, Well, we got to get him out of here. He's got a flight to catch. Alex, thanks so much for coming to Can Jam at RMAF 2012. Thank you to everybody on HeadFi. We'd be nothing without you.